Good afternoon, my friends. Uh, this afternoon we'll be in the book of 1 Kings 13, 1 through 24. The man of God who came from Judah. There was a man of God who came from Judah. He had a, a message to deliver in Bethel. And uh, as soon as he got to Bethel, he went straight to the, the altar and he, he prophesied to the altar. He said, O altar, altar, thus say the Lord, a son will be born in the house of David by the name of Josiah. He will sacrifice on you. The priests of the high places who make sacrifices to you. On you, the human bones will be burned. And this is the sign that God gives. The altar shall be torn down. And the ashes on the altar shall be poured out. After he, he prophesied, a king Jeroboam, who was standing there because he came to offer a sacrifice, um, got mad. And he stretched his arm and said, seize him. And as he said that, he, his, uh, his hand froze. And then uh, he spoke to the, uh, the man of God and asked him to implore his God so his hand can be restored. So the man of God prayed for him, and then his hand was restored. And as uh, he uh, had his hand restored, he spoke to the man of God. He said, come to my, my house so we can eat together, and I will offer you a present. But the man of God said, no, I can't do it, because God told me three things. First thing, that while I'm here, I'm not allowed to eat bread. While I'm here, I'm not allowed to drink water. While I'm here, going back to Judah, I have to uh, take another route. So even if you can give me the half of your house, I will not take it. And then uh, the man of God decided to go back to Bethel. He left. Uh, go, to, go, go, back to, uh, go back to Judah, of course. And then as he left Bethel, he was leaving. Uh, the children uh, of uh, the sons of uh, an old prophet went home and they spoke to their father. And uh, they told their father what uh, the, uh, the, the prophet who came from Judah said. And they also shared with their father what uh, the reaction of the king was. And also they uh, told him how the uh, man, who, uh, the man of God who came from Judah, how he reacted to what the king uh, told him, of course, the, uh, the offer that uh, the king made. And after that, the, the, old, uh, the old prophet told his, uh, his sons, uh, would you please tell me which way he went so I can catch up with him? And then the children said, he went the other way. And he told his, uh, his uh, sons, go ahead and, uh, and saddle uh, the, the donkey for me. And uh, they did saddle the donkey for their father. And after that, he mounted the donkey. And he went, he rode, and he went, and he went because he uh, wanted to catch up with uh, the uh, man of God who came from Judah. And he saw an oak tree, and there was a man sitting under the oak tree. And uh, he approached him and uh, asked him if... Uh, he were the man of God who came from Judah. And he said, yes, I am. He said, okay, come and eat with me. And then uh, the man of God who came from Judah said, no, I can't do it. Because God told me three things. He told me not to eat bread over there. He told me not to drink water over there. And also he told me to take another route to go back to Judah. So there's no way I can come to your place. And then the old prophet said, I am a prophet too. And uh, the angel, an, an angel spoke to me. That's why I'm asking you to come and eat with me. He was lying. <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> as uh, they went back to his place, uh, they sat and ate. And uh, while they were eating, the old prophet received a message 
uh, from uh, God who told him, speak to the young prophet and tell him as he disobeyed, he will not be buried with uh, his, his fathers. So that was uh, sad for him to hear that. But it is important to go back and say that uh, what was good in the, the prophecy is that the prophet gave even detail. He said that uh, the, 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 the name of uh, that's the son who will uh, destroy the altars was uh, Josiah from uh, the house of, of David. So uh, the prophet, the young one, the man who came from Judah, had his uh, donkey saddled, he mounted his donkey, and he made it his way back to Judah. And as he was going back, on his way, there was a lion waiting for him. And uh, the lion killed him. And uh, the lion did not kill the donkey. The donkey was there. The lion was there. And uh, the corpse of uh, the prophet, the man of God, who came from Judah, was uh, on the street. And people were passing by, seeing him there on the street. At the end of our story, that you can find in the book of First Kings, chapter 13, 1 through 24, the man of God who came from Judah. You have a good one, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>